Okay, Cancers, welcome to your reading. Okay, so this is going to be, of course, for November 2020. Check your moon rising and Venus signs as well. So let's see, Cancers for November. All right. So we have the hangman coming out first, which could be about, you know, no movement. And it can mean what you see here, prophetic power, self-surrender, facing darkness. It can also mean a perspective, the way you're seeing something. We have the Ten of Cups, okay? So this looks like comfort to me. You got the hangman with the Ten of Cups starting off the reading. So you can start off the month being very comfortable, very, um, I was about to say lazy, but... I mean, if you are, it's like in a good way, I guess. It's it's not really, I guess, a bad way. But but it says lasting happiness and success. Let's see. What is Hangman? So with the Hangman, you have the Eight of Cups. So you come into the month kind of like, you know, on your journey, clearly. Okay, but very withdrawn. You could be very withdrawn or you could just be, you know, doing your own thing. And we have the Ten of Cups with the Magician. So I feel like you're happy. You're doing things that make you happy. Things that you're naturally good at. Because the Magician to me is like a natural talent. A natural skill. So I feel like you're doing things that you're just good at. Um, there's something that you're just going to be involved in. It could be the smallest thing. But you're happy. And it's getting a lot of your attention. Okay. With the Magician card. But very good so far. So we have the Ten of Swords coming out with the Ten of Cups. So you may have something like a new perspective as well. Something about a perspective could be changed with the Ten of Swords. So it's like your wounds could be healing. Your internal wounds could be healing. And, and you're just in a happy place. I feel like you're very comfortable coming into the month. Nine of Cups, which is granted. Another card of happiness with the Two of Cups. So I feel like you guys are really happy. It's like you're gaining a lot of satisfaction. Okay. Even if, like I said, it's in the slightest way. It could be the smallest thing or the simplest thing. But you look happy coming into the month. Um, even if you're not really doing nothing. Because as you can see, it's a lot of cups and swords so far with the two of wands magician. So I feel like you just feel in control. You feel powerful. You feel good. There's things that you're recovering from that you're having a really good time. You know, with the process. And you have the high priestess. Which is about your intuition. It's about being private as well. But let's just see. We have the seven of wands. Yeah. So I feel like you're standing your ground too. Like if if need be, you're standing your ground on something. You have that high priestess with the ten of wands. So I feel like you have a lot of knowledge, a lot of clarity. Um, you may even be receiving downloads. But you have the seven of wands and the hangman too. So, okay, what is this? So the seven of wands with the hangman, okay. Is it self-sabotage or, or are you just holding off on something? I feel like this could also be like something being like you're naturally being like you're naturally in this energy of waiting. So it's like you have to wait for something if you are waiting for something. But for the most part, there's definitely bigger perspective perceptions coming up as well we have the ace of wands and we also have the knight of wands okay so that's the action oriented energy so you have the moon card clarifying the ace of wands okay and you have the knight of wands with the hangman so there could be like a secret admirer it could be someone around your job as well but if it's not about a secret admirer i just feel like you're taking action okay you're doing what you feel pulled to do or guided to do Okay, but I'm definitely getting like a secret admirer energy. I'm also seeing too, like it's hidden, like maybe something is hidden because you got the moon and the high priestess side by side. So something is hidden when it comes to either your future or or something, but it's, it's something that's hidden, something you don't clearly see or know yet. But I feel like for the most part, there's this energy of patience. There's this energy of being guided. Your spirituality can really be increasing and improving as well. This could be your intuition just heightening. So we have the Page of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles. So definitely about some type of skill or talent, okay? 
But yes, it definitely could be this this energy where your intuition is on point. You may be receiving um, downloads and messages. Even dreams can be like, you know, very psychic as well for some of you guys. But we have the Four of Pentacles and the Strength card. So there's energy of patience and holding back as well. There's like, you could be focused on work, but there's a lot of holding back too. Okay. Now, if this is not true, this is someone holding on to you. Like someone is still connected to you, still attached to you. They're holding on to you and they still want to work on things. It's kind of like the, the thing that they're offering is coming off like they want to try to build something with you, but they want to kind of mix it up, you know, and gain from it as well romantically or, you know, because as I continue to pull, I'm seeing a, a King of Swords energy. So yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. And the nine of cups. So you're in a really beautiful energy. A very, I love how the queen of cups means radiance. Cause I really feel that with the nine of cups. So definitely could be in this radiant energy this month, but you also have the cardinal sign and you are a cardinal sign. Okay. And you have the four ones. So very stable, very loyal. I feel like you guys could be really tapping into your creativity this month, whatever it is you're good at. Whatever it is you enjoy doing, you're going to be doing that this month. But you're going to be really stable. Your foundation is going to be stable as well. I feel like there will be someone that shows up. All right, because we have the Four of Cups. So we have the Four of Cups with the King of Swords. So someone wants to show up, but look at how they're coming. Like, the Four of Cups. I mean, I don't know. Maybe someone want to take an opportunity that they feel like they miss or they don't want to miss out on an opportunity. But I feel like, you know... You may kind of let them down easily because you got the page of cups with the six of wands. And then you got the seven of pentacles with the three of swords. So it's kind of like you don't you don't really feel like anything can grow with this person. So you refuse to try to put the work in anymore because you got the seven of pentacles. So you feel like you don't gain from a situation. You don't really... Um, it just doesn't grow. It doesn't progress. And you may decline whatever this person is offering you. So they may try to give you some type of attention. They may try to um, say some sweet nothings to you with the Six of Wands and Page of Cups. But I feel like you don't really want this person's attention. We have the Death card showing up. And we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. So it's like you know the truth about the situation. Someone wants to renew with you with the Death and the Ace of Wands. But I feel like you guys may, you may want something new though. It's like you're focused on new. You can also just be focused on, um, you know, being stable. You have the uh, the two of cups. So I'm definitely seeing this energy of just a lot of prosperity, inner and outer prosperity. And with the two of cups, it, it could be about a relationship or connection, but it, it can also just be you and your energy. Like you just feel prosperous. You feel stable. And I feel like you're like feeling the blessing of stability. Like you just feel good. I feel like you feel renewed, you know, especially after rejecting someone, you know, you just feel renewed or it's allowing renewal to come into your life. We have Knight of Swords coming out next with the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So I feel like, you know, you you feel very create, uh, courageous right now. I feel like you're doing you know, the, the most smartest thing, like you're doing things with sense right now with the Knight of Swords, with the Queen of Pentacles, like maybe also you want someone with good intentions, like, you know, what type of energy you want to invest in. So you don't want to invest in a situation where, you know, the intentions aren't good. I also feel like, you know, you're focused on money right now. You're focused on your stability. You're not really focused on anything major, right now but we have service devotion honesty with the five of wands okay so i feel like you're definitely fighting off you know any attention or effort that this person may try to give you or you're just not going to put effort into a situation but i'm definitely getting a lot of fulfillment though i feel like a, a lot of peaceful energy you have the knight of cups with the knight of cups wow so you guys are just going to be happy this month like really happy really joyful Doing whatever it is that brings you happiness, okay? You guys are going to be basking in in glorious emotional fulfillment, some type of satisfaction, some type of happiness. I feel like you're going to feel good. And with the dog card, it's like the truth 
could be challenging, but at the end of the day, you be, you will be happy or you're happy. Okay. So you got the knight, knight of cups twice. So you're following your heart and that's leading you to happiness. So we have the three of swords, which is about freedom from strife when it's reversed, but it's about an emotional storm upright. So with the ace of cups, I would say that this is the positive aspect of the three of swords. So you're free from strife. You're emotionally fulfilled. You're healed. You're in a beautiful energy. And you have the eight of wands, okay? So moving forward, being more optimistic, open to the opportunities. Look at this, the star card. Healing, a lot of healing. Some of you guys are healing quickly, okay? Your healing is happening quickly. I feel like there's a lot of movement somewhere, though. There's something you're doing where there's a lot of movement or... um. Or you're just happy, you're blissful, you're peaceful. You're on your path and your path is beautiful. Your path is fun. Your path is exciting, inspirational, full of life, beautiful. A lot of cups in your reading. So I feel like this is going to be a month of fulfillment for you emotionally. Whatever whatever happens this month, you can, you can um, best believe that you're going to be emotionally fulfilled. So we have the page of wands with the tower. Yeah, so a, a change, a transformation. I, and I feel like you guys are the ones making the change because you have the page of wands. So you're doing something new or you're doing something different. Now, if it is about shocking, something shocking, it's just going to be a burst of happiness, a burst of inspiration, a burst of energy. That's what it's going to be. But for the most part, this is a very... Um, positive reading a lot of changes we have the page of wants again so definitely an energy of starting something new starting something fresh you can you can even be changing your appearance but this is definitely a month of fulfillment above all else so the main highlight i see in this reading is emotionally uh emotional fulfillment and with these two pages you have the opportunity or the chance to just create create start new you could start many things it don't have to be just one. There's many opportunities that could be around you. But I feel like you're going to feel free, right? You know, you're going to feel free this month. I feel like you guys are going to be very bold and action-oriented. A lot of new ideas you could be acting on. And you have the death card. Yeah, some of you guys definitely could be making changes. And whatever these changes are, it could be to your appearance or just changes you know, anywhere, any type of change, but definitely some shocking changes or just some random changes or changes you feel urged to take. Now, if it is some type of shocking news, I mean, it could be good news, but we have the nine of swords with the tower card. So make sure you change the way you think as well. Make sure you pay attention to the, um, the downloads you receive, like don't try to ignore what you already know you should change. Because with this nine of swords and tower is saying it's like you're trying to ignore something that you know you need to change. Okay. So I feel like there's a part of you that's going to be like improving. Okay. Whatever shadow self you do have, that's going to be changing this month. But for the most part, you guys are going to be in a good energy. Okay. Making a lot of uh, taking care of a lot of things, doing a lot of things with the two of pentacles and a sugar glider, you know, a lot of responsibilities. You may have more than one opportunity this month, but for the most part, a lot of adventure, a lot of movement, a lot of happiness. So enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next video.